In our national lead, the father of the man accused of training children to be school shooters speaks for the first time, saying his son must have a mental disorder to have set up what the country, what the county sheriff says, was an Islamic extremist compound in New Mexico where 11 children, ranging in age from 1 to 15, were being abused. The father, we should note, has a history of his own. He was a character witness for the convicted 1993 World Trade Center bombing mastermind. CNN's Scott McLean joins me now from New Mexico. And Scott, you have, you have the text messages from one of the suspects. That's right, Jake. A neighbor tells us that these texts are between himself and Lucas Morton, a suspect in this case. And in the Morton asks for, seems to be asking for things like borrowing uh, equipment or even taking his wife to the grocery store. What's odd, though, is that Morton has his own vehicle. It's that white box truck over there, but he says that he can't leave this compound during the daylight hours. This is just one more strange fact in a story that keeps getting stranger. When sheriff's deputies raided this remote compound in northern New Mexico, they found 11 children forced to live in squalor. It's hard to imagine a more appalling scene, but prosecutors say it gets worse. According to the criminal complaints for child abuse filed against five adults on the compound, a subsequent foster parent says the adults had trained the child in the use of an assault rifle in preparation for future school shootings. The accusation has not been proven in court. In a statement to CNN, the suspect's attorney questioned the basis of the allegation. An AR-15 and six other guns were found on the compound that had its own makeshift shooting range. The local sheriff considered the occupants armed Islamic extremists, but offered no proof. One of them, Siraj Wahaj, was wanted in Georgia after disappearing to New Mexico with his then three-year-old son late last year, who was later reported missing. We want to find out what happened. That's what we want to do. Even if it's again, again, if it's against them, we stand in judgment. God stands in judgment against them, and we stand on the side of truth. Wahaj's father, a New York imam, spoke to reporters today. He is the first Muslim to lead a prayer in the House of Representatives. He also served as a character witness for the mastermind of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. My son can be a little bit, um, maybe a little bit extreme. Um, when, when I say extreme, not, not radical, killing people and stuff like that. Just a little bit, sometimes a little bit, you know, high strung. According to a search warrant, two of the children told social workers that Lucas Morton had buried the body of a long missing child near a primitive bathroom or inside of a tunnel dug under the property. Police located the remains but have not identified them. CNN has obtained text messages between a neighbor and a man he says is Morton, showing Morton often asked for help, borrowing equipment or buying supplies because he can only leave the compound after dark, explaining only that it's God's orders. Morton's father said his son lacked the resources to safely live off the grid. The day before the raid, he sent his father a text. Okay, it was saying that they was in dire need. Um, they had ran out of money and they, you know, were starving. And that tunnel the deputies mentioned in their search warrant, well, it actually starts over there under that white plastic tarp and it ends or resurfaces right over here about 40 yards away. You can see there's a ladder inside of it, but it is barely big enough for even the tiniest of humans uh, to get out of it or get into it. Why it was built is really anyone's guess. And Jake, one more thing, that's that uh, the medical examiner says that the body that was found somewhere on this property is badly decomposed. It is tough to identify. It still may be weeks before we know for sure.